believe I'm going live. Let's see if... Get these comment sections turned on. Well, hello. I've actually never done this before, so I'm hoping um, if you can see me to give me some comments. Awesome, so you can see me. That's awesome. Um, I'm gonna be doing noonday service today. My name is Celeste. Um, I haven't been to Epiphany a little bit due to all this COVID, but I'm really excited to be doing this now. And despite all my best efforts, my cat will not leave the room. <laughs> um, but if you have any prayers that we're doing today, anybody you wanna pray for, anything you need, awesome, it sounds good. That sounds good, awesome. Um, go ahead and put in that comment section below and we will get to the prayers. Um, I'm not going to start till 1210 just so we can have a little time to get everybody in here. Anybody who needs it. Awesome. Hi, Paula. Hey, Amanda. Nice to see y'all. My goodness. In about one more minute, I'm going to start. put him in the room real quick. All right. Okay. So, I don't see any requests for prayers. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. First, thank y'all all for viewing and coming in. <clears throat> oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will forever be. Amen. A reading from Psalms 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he, will, he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is the shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by light, or the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will forever be. Amen. Um, I chose a reading from Romans 5.5. 5. Um, I felt like it really fit with everything that's going on right now. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. We're gonna, I'm gonna be doing the Lord's Prayer. Feel free to follow along. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and lead us into a truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. That seems to be all of our reading today. Um, just a little add-on prayer since I don't have any requests. Um, dear Lord, I'd like to pray for all our leaders in power. Everyone's struggling, whether it be financially or emotionally, mentally. I pray that we all find peace in our own way, that you give us what we need but not what we want. Thank you for all the blessings you have given us and continue to give us. 
You never give us more than we can handle, and we thank you for that. We pray for all other needs. We're going to give a little moment of silence right now. Oh, Lord, please continue to guide us in your way. Help us find strength when we're, so, when we're down or low. Help us smile when we feel sorrow. Thank you for everything you have done for us and continue to do. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank y'all so much for viewing, and I hope to see y'all soon. Thank you.